Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm Adam Steele from Hot Pole Studios, and this is a guy that needs no introduction. So, we're looking at the Tesco Overdrive pedal today. I'll introduce you anyway. This why is Glenn Fricker. <laughs> why are we looking at another Overdrive pedal? Because... I was supposed to be reviewing the HX Stomp uh, XL from Line Six. Yes, and it's but the yes, but the Line Six guys <laughs> fucked off, and we got no, you know they went home, and it's only two days. What are we day three on on Gear Street? We still got something going on tomorrow, so it's like, hey, thanks Line Six for taking off. Good job there, guys. Really appreciate it. But uh, yeah, I, yeah, I just went out. Adam really needed the stuff, so I guess no demo for you guys. Maybe you should have stuck around if you want to be featured on more channels. But you now, hey, it is what it is. They have more important things to do, like like who the fuck knows but anyway <laughs> so we're improvising and uh the guys from tesco have got a really cool little purple overdrive pedal and mm -hmm. that's the best thing about it is the sound it is purple and so i'm using my kind of magic oh, these are Ooh. fucking heavy Holy yeah shit. there's yeah. some serious pedal going yeah, on with yeah these yeah i mean this could be you know you could club somebody that you could really hurt somebody with one of these that's fucking cool though your money shot there we go uh this camera right here mm. yeah there we go see does that auto focus let's take a look and ooh, ooh, look at that! That is your, look at that bouquet, man. That's fucking, nice. Every fucking cinema geek in all the forums just wet themselves with this shot. I want yeah. one of those. Yeah, that's pretty fucking cool. Actually, mm. that's pretty cool. A seven three. There we go. But yeah, it's got like a bunch of knobs and um, yeah. Okay, but it's like we've seen a million fucking overdrive pedals. Um, I mean, seriously, we have all seen a million fucking overdrive pedals. So I mean, uh, Tesco, you guys better you know be bringing your fucking A game here because everybody's got an overdrive pedal and it's all like little variations on a theme and it's like, oh, come on, for crumb's sake, can we hear something new? So you guys better fucking bring the goods here if you want to impress not only me, but the people out there who you are trying to sell to. There has to be a reason to check one of these out. So why don't you play? Yeah, so we use it with the, the distortion pedal. I've got my magic blend going on, so it should be off right now. So okay. then here's my clean tone. Yeah, you're actually a pretty decent bass player. Okay, so you said Magic Distortion. What do you got going on? Do you run Distortion then Overdrive, or what's going on? So the way that I run things, I run a preamp. Uh, it's off camera. I'll take a photo and add that in. So I've got the uh, Sansamp Geddy Lee preamp. Oh, okay. That's what that is. Cool. Yeah, which I it blends clean in a drive, but I use it mostly clean. Okay. Yeah, so it's mostly clean. So. Oh, that, oh, that yeah, is so, on. That so is I, on. Holy yeah. shit. Well, you can you can crank the drive on it, but for what we've been doing, I'm not doing. Hmm. Because then, on the back of that board, and I will have to photo that, <laughs> is an electro harmonics mixer. Ooh, okay. So I can blend in whatever pedal I want, because because when people say, oh, you can't use that on bass, all the low end goes, I don't have to care. Oh, that's very clever. That's, see, there's something you don't see very often as a bass player who's clever. <laughs> And then I'm feeding through a torpedo cab M to get the power amp and the uh, cab, cab yeah. simulation. Yeah, it's like yeah, you know, it's it's like it's an oxymoron. Like you know, clever bass player, military intelligence. It's like saying Christians against Christ. It doesn't work. <laughs> it just doesn't happen. But anyway, okay. So uh, this is distortion or is this overdrive? This is a full-on distortion. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, that so much I know. I what just if, chewed the company out for doing an overdrive, and they got a distortion. Okay, that's a little. <laughs> so different. whatever the actual name of it is, I have no idea. Let's see what it is. It is... Oh, it's in kanji, so I have no fucking clue either. <laughs> you mean you've not watched enough anime? I've watched plenty of anime, and I just still don't understand Japanese, so, yeah. There we go. So, th I, the reason I thought this would be pretty cool for bass is it's got two buttons, so it's got general distortion and then more. Oh, okay, well, let's hear it. So... Kind of like a bass cut. Yeah. Let's take that out. I was going to say, yeah, the more does definitely not mean more bass. Anyway, no. Go ahead. See what we can do here. Well, yeah. there's, there's loads of switches and dials, so let's see what we can dial in. Yeah, okay.
and Mary, just dial it in a little more. Go ahead. So that second button works separately, works on its own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Take that off. Go ahead. So it's an obliteration button. That's pretty fucking cool, actually. I like that. That's, yeah. that's snarly. That, that's got some beef to it. Oh, yeah. That's something you can do with a lot of distortion. It pulls the harmonics out. May, may I try that for a moment? Please. Hey. Ooh, I like these strings. What are those? They're half round. Not really much to it, is there? <laughs> I don't know what the big deal is. It's just an oversized guitar. Yeah, uh, that's where you need the strength. Absolutely. That's where it comes in its own, and that's why my, my arm does that. Oh, jeez, look at that. Wow, look at that. Yeah. That's hilarious. Go for it, yeah. Jeez. Yeah, you'll see. And you try, try doing a two-hour show like that, you end up with arms out here somewhere. It's crazy. Fair enough. It's definitely the Popeye effect. Yeah, you end up with that that uh, joke from Family Guy where uh, Quagmire found the internet. Ah! <laughs> just like <laughs> one side just... <laughs> But yeah, um, there was a middle switch and a tight switch on yeah, there. Yes, so I was, they... I was uh, putting them in and out. Go ahead, play. Well, we'll... So if we just knock off the crazy button. Too much on the bass. Right, okay. Yeah, if you're a guitar player, it's probably going to do a whole lot more, but Fair. on but it, the bass, it's not really doing all that much. But then, mm. it's still a nice sounding clap. I like the crazy button, though. Like, if you're going to be playing, you know, like... Uh, like Boris or Sono or something. Yeah, some fucking, some definitely some Stoner Doom or something like that. That's definitely going to do the trick right there. Amazing. Pretty damn cool, actually, I got to say. Okay, I'm impressed. I got to say, that's not too bad. Are we doing the overdrive or are we, uh, are we just doing that one? Okay, so we've switched over to the overdrive. Let's see what this does. Just real quick here. Fire, yeah, go ahead and play something. not bad i like the insane pedal a little more though i mean like yeah i find i find when, you, when you're distorting bass it, it's best to add as much as you possibly can go extreme because, because it's not really they're not really voiced for bass you know what I mean? yeah one of the coolest bass uh distortion tones i ever got was one of, one of the very first records i ever did we actually ran it uh ran the bass through my galleon Kruger 250 ml and i ran a chorus on that and it's just mm. we got this monster fucking you know distorted bass tone it was just wicked and that was a Galleon Kruger guitar amp. You know, I remember back when GK used to do those. It's kind right, of a shame yeah, that yeah. they don't do those anymore. I still got my MLE, which is a really cool fucking amp too, mm -hmm. that I pull out every now and then. But yeah, it's like, okay, um, for bass distortion, I think uh, I think this guy here is the winner. This is the, uh, can we get a close up of that? So you want a winner on bass for distortion. Yeah, this, the Tisco, whatever the fuck this thing is called, because it's in kanji and I can't fucking read it. That is a glorious piece of machinery for bass, I would say, especially with the two modes. That's yeah. pretty, pretty versatile. That's not bad at all. So, yeah, and um, I don't know what these cost or how much they're worth or any of that shit. You got any idea? It will be on the screen below. <laughs> yes, follow the links in the description below. If you're looking for a cool bass distortion pedal slash blunt force trauma weapon, uh, this will definitely do the job. <laughs> It's definitely heavy, that's for sure. I'm only half joking. That's some serious weight. That is. That Jeez. Is. I, don't, I don't know what they did. Maybe they put some lead in, inside just to make it look cooler. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> heavy sound, heavy pedal. Yeah, there we go. Okay, very cool. Anyway, Adam, thanks for having me on the show, dude. Anytime. Thank you. It's, it, and it's good to finally actually talk in person. Yes, 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 exactly. Adam's been doing an absolutely magnificent job helping edit on my show, and I'm really grateful for that. So there we go.
Always okay. a pleasure. Okay, I gotta jump on a switcher. I gotta go switch for Alex. Um, he's playing with himself on keyboards. Okay. As per usual. As per usual. All right. Anyway, thanks everybody. Hashtag Fuzzy Two GS Three. All the videos from Glenn, me, everybody else. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>